Yo, so we're inside of Whole Foods right now. I'm with my cousin. He's playing for the vegan burger. This is my first time I've ever eaten a burger that wasn't made of meat. Let's see what's up. That's two vegan shakes and vegan burgers, baby. I got the wares. Yeah. Four hundred dollars. All right, so this place is called Next Level Burger. It's inside of, what is this, New Seasons? Uh, it's a subsidiary of Whole Foods called Market 365. There you go. And so we're here picking up the vegan burgers, vegan shakes, and now we're gonna go home and indulge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Thick and Chunky Show. I am your host, Mr. Corey Styles, like always. With me today for the first time in like eight months, this dude right here, my cousin. The, way the wayward child has yeah, returned. Yeah, my cousin, while I've been off on my own making videos of me eating fattening foods every week, my cousin has been spending his time eating vegan. Not, not the whole time, but... <clears throat> so this guy said that... He was willing to buy me a vegan burger if I'm willing to try it. So he upped the ante, not only get us the vegan burger, but we also have a vegan milkshake that we're gonna try next too. Just off the top of the cuff, like the bun, the bun looks sussy. I'm just gonna throw that out there. The bun looks sussy. The lettuce, it looks like lettuce, right? Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> the tomato looks delicious. The bacon, the bacon's like thicker than bacon. And then the patty, it looks like a burger patty. I was gonna cut this, but I'm not finna do it. I'm gonna just eat it. Do you Whoa. Show Is this what, yeah, boy. Is this where you show up? <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, cheers. Okay, so right off, right off the bat, it's more moist than I anticipated because of that that mayonnaise that's on there. There's just a little mayo. There's a lot. It doesn't taste fake. It doesn't taste fake. It has a smoky flavor. I haven't really been able to differentiate between the bacon and the burger so much. Mm -hmm. Do you have a piece of bacon you can rip off? Do you find? Did yeah. you find? Okay, just try the bacon real quick. Now you're gonna notice it doesn't taste exactly like bacon, it does but it's but it's pretty good. The flavor that they came up with was good. It almost tastes more like sausage than bacon. Right? They went yeah. for they went for something, but it, it has a smoky, meaty flavor. It doesn't taste like bacon. It definitely isn't bacon consistency. It actually looks like it's made out of rice, kind of. It is. It's rice mm -hmm. bacon. It's made out of um, tempeh. Um, and this is vegan A's, obviously, but the thing about vegan A's is it's delicious and it tastes as good as regular mayo. Mm. I'll let the skeptic confirm though. So the vegan A's is probably the part that I was the most skeptical about, to be honest with you. Because I love mayonnaise since I was a kid. We did best foods and only best foods. We didn't even, we didn't even do, uh, uh, what's she called? Miracle Whip. We didn't Miracle even do Whip. Miracle Whip. It was best foods, man. Never over. the never the Safeway Select brand. No. Nah, we did that. We did oh, that. did you? Yeah, we did that. <laughs> but it was always actual mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. So this actually tastes like mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. it, it's good. The, this is a good burger. If I sat down to this burger as a meal, I would not be disappointed. When it comes to my food reviews, there's a couple different things that we talk about, right? The looks of it. So the bun looks sussy, right? But the rest of the burger, and the and to be honest with you, the bun holds it together. It doesn't give to or take away from the burger itself. It doesn't try to take over the show and be like extra bland or nothing like that, you know? Mm -hmm. One of the one of the core decision makers when I give a grade to a burger, how much does it cost? So why don't you tell these fine folks <coughs> in YouTube land how much this burger costs? You pay for what you're getting. Um, obviously, the flavor in general, you wouldn't pay this much for a burger, but the fact that they have turned a plant into something that tastes like a bacon cheeseburger, you'll pay a little more for that. They have to make all the components in-house so it's a little more labor intensive. Two burgers and two uh, regular shakes uh, was all of $30. It was 27 plus a tip. And it's 
it's quick food, but it's not fast food. Right. If that makes sense. It wasn't a drive through We had to get our asses out of the car to get it. So it's quick food as they made it quick and whatever, but it's not fast food. So when you, and they had seating there. Mm-hmm. So when you think of sitting down to a meal, a, a burger and fries for $10 at an actual sit down place, that's, that's a good value, I'd say. Yeah. So this being t- 11 $12 for a burger and fries, I don't think that's outside the realm of what it could get. Now, we didn't get the fries. A, I'm not a big sweet potato guy. And B, this is my first time trying it, so I wanted to really get into the burger and see what it's like. Looks-wise, I'm going to give it a C. And the reason why I give it a C is because the bun instantly just screams cardboard. Like the, the, bun, the bun makes you think it's going to be cardboardy. It's gluten free, and the bacon doesn't look like bacon, but it tastes good. Mm-hmm. Uh, taste wise, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Whoa. I think taste wise, it, it's good, and the reason why is because it it tastes clean, dude. Like mm-hmm. it tastes meaty, but it tastes clean. You don't have that greasy like gut bomb. No, but but it feels. I feel like I'm getting what I want out of a burger without getting what I don't want out of. A it hits you here, but it doesn't hit you here. Yeah. It's uh, it, that was the most fascinating thing to me, and that's why I've I've spent a ton of money with them since we found it just two months ago. I'm definitely a loyal customer there. The cheese doesn't taste fake either. No, the cheese is good, right? Yeah. So that's the thing. That's one thing that I noticed is that it doesn't really have a fake taste. Now value thirteen dollars for this and a shake. Value is probably going to be about a. Seat. I look at value on this one a little differently because if you were to go into the vegan lifestyle and you came from a burger and fry lifestyle to keep you from going back this saved me from jumping back into that lifestyle a few times so value wise it was it was pretty much priceless because i would have went and got me a burger and fries and sat down and binged but i went and got a vegan burger and it was enough to give me that satiated feeling Um, so the value was there but it's hard to justify spending that amount of money like taking your family out you couldn't take the family, wife and kids out without dropping a hundred dollars. So the one thing that I did notice too is that the hotter it was, the better it was. As it's cooled off or as I've gotten into it further, wears down a little bit. I'm impressed. I'm gonna put that, that, that out there. I'm impressed. I think that overall, all things considered, I'm gonna grade next level burger, all American cheeseburger, <laughs> a C plus. I'm gonna say C plus, better than I thought. Keep in mind, that's graded against real burgers. That's important to remember. That's going alongside that Dude, I lost burger. all my burger at the end, though. You just got to go with it. Sometimes I just eat the plate with it just because... <laughs> I did want to try the patty by itself. That patty by itself is kind of weird. It's definitely not me. That's strange. That's weird because everything together tastes like a burger. The components individually. You gotta get it all in one. It's a package deal. <laughs> it's a package deal. Oh my I god. Need more napkins. <laughs> Dude, your burger died. Alright, so now we're gonna do the. There we go. Alright, so now we have vegan milkshake, is that what you call it? Vegan milkshake, man. Vegan milkshake made out of soy. This one's soy, it comes in um, soy or coconut milk. Um, I know that soy isn't the best for dudes. Um, there's all this thing saying it gives you boobs and whatnot, but we already got boobs, so it's not gonna hurt. Um, the coconut milk's pretty good, but it's got more of a watery taste to it, so I wanted to give it a better better go. All right. <clears throat> I'll look at this thing first. Okay, on appearance, it looks like frozen water. (laughs) Going back for thirdsies. That's not bad. It tastes like a damn Frosty. It tastes exactly like a Frosty. Yeah, it tastes exactly like a Frosty. That's an A. You get an A. It, you know what I'm saying? It tastes just like a Frosty. If you put a Frosty in this in front of me right now with a blindfold, I really, honestly, don't think I could tell you which one's which. 
So for the Thick and Chunky Show, I am your host, Corey Styles. My cousin Brandon, show backup. Thanks, thanks for coming in. Thanks for doing it. You're welcome. That's a lie because I can't be your house. But check me out again later on in the week for another food review. Anyway, peace. <laughs> welcome to Overtime on the Thick and Chunky Show. I have these haunted ghost pepper chips and if you remember my cousin and i did the burner bliss the burner bliss challenge you know i have a hotter chocolate at my house just waiting to be consumed now anyway my wife's gonna eat it with me savage yeah so these are haunted ghost pepper chips is there a little one (laughs) this is such a i gotta this one's weird you have a real chip. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look good for television. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> crap. <laughs> the amount of estrogen you have in your body. I blame, yeah. I blame the soy. Alright. That's really warm. It's hot. I'm so glad I just took a nibble. <laughs> that could have been really bad. 